you're just tuning in and are trying to get an idea of perspective, those uh, lasers are what we're using, and that's 10 centimeters apart. Done, sir. F further left, you see those little sprigs, and one above us, uh, above this um, five-armed animal, which looks like a stroke right crinoid there. to me. Yeah, that's it, right between the lasers. And uh, if we could get a better view on that. Boy, that's a little one, but it'll fit up the slurp. <laughs> so Steve is uh, with Temple University. Steve, thanks for pointing this out. We might have just flown right up the hill if you hadn't called these out. So appreciate your tuning in. Video, let's push in. We should take the whole thing. There's two of them here, so we'll leave one behind. Okay, so we'll take the smaller one? Yeah, absolutely. Whichever one's most accessible to you. All right, let's come full wide video. That's an anthemastis coral just above it. It's another kind of octocoral, also very common in the deep sea. We call them mushroom corals. Yeah, we're going to shift our trend and follow the... Uh, Yellow brick the road. More going more perpendicular like to that. contour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So after we pull up and are settled in, we'll go two four zero. Yeah, it looks like two four zero. Right? Maybe. So we're at yeah. about. This Doppler is like. Seventeen hundred meters right now. Wanna, I, I, I'm we are like a million meters off the sea floor though. No, we're not. It should be still getting that. Yeah. So I'm only. Six hundred kilohertz would be in great shape right now. Yeah. I think we got a bad beam. It's just. Like one of the beams mud is or really weak. Be They're all quiet. Like we're, yeah. we're coming up before yeah. the move, right? We're trying to yeah, yeah, I have not moved yet. You're starting to get clearer. I can Let's bump 10 here. meters. You guys good with that? <coughs> I'm cool. All right. Yeah. Brennan, do you still have uh, do you still have a ground fault every time At the Doppler two comes four on? Zero? Every time two the three one zero, comes on? Doppler? Yeah, but not no different than what it always was. Two three zero? That's, yeah, 230. It's just performing cool. way worse than it usually does. This, it's, this is the 1200? Yeah. When do we get the 600 back? Um, that's the subject of a certain degree of debate. Can I have a... You know, and one big rock. <laughs> it's an impressive rock. Dwight, what causes these kinds of rock formations? Just yeah, this is uh, interesting. Boy, this whole sanctuary seafloor is... Uh, varied in its uh, rock type and this looks like shale to me so that's a sedimentary rock that is um, basically consolidated Thank you. mud and very fine grain sediment. More rations. No idea what age. Life's not bad. We passed through Life's a nice good. school of rockfish there. I saw some uh, more copper rockfish, some vermilion rockfish, a whole bunch of these little juveniles. This is great habitat. So this area has been folded. So a lot of the uh, rock formations that we see are anticlines and synclines. So that's where the rocks are dipping in one direction or another as we look at different aspects of the fold geometry of these rocks. And we happen to be in a place where uh, these, these weren't folded. So it's sort of flat shale. That's what it looks like to me. And so in, in, as we proceed along this transect, we've seen dipping beds uh, where the folds you, start. Yeah, they're such a neat fish. Four. Yeah, I've really enjoyed seeing the... It's actually the largest collection I've ever seen of them. And that looks like that just drops off. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, but I want... Yeah, look so if you could spin Amazing. around and look at it um, and then back up, yeah, that would be great. You want me to drop down there and fly up it? Yeah, like do a vertical transect of this outcrop up and down. So now it is now fair. Total distance around 240 meters. <laughs> All right, so no need to follow me down on this one because you're you have a much shallower. <laughs> so now it is now. Did you copy? Sorry, no. no. A the total distance covered 240 approximately. The distance. 240 meters approximately for the last one. Yep. So it's just like a layer cake, really. You have different layers of cake and frosting, right? And the frosting is uh, eroded away more than the cake part. And uh, it's because everyone likes frosting. Hmm. That's the best part of the cake. 
But you have the two camps. You have All the right, that is the top Dwight. Okay, so let's try to break a little nub off that guy if we can. Yep. Or uh, that could, yeah. This, this could that could be what the rock looks like um, underneath the sediment, and then the dusty part is. Are talking about that coloration there? That change in coloration. Nice. Like a cracker. Can give it a shake. Yep. A science where would you like to store it? Uh, forward the other. Okay. This is a. Uh, almost looks like. Would you shake? Chert, like a very hard siliceous rock. It actually could be some kind of sponge, some kind of encrusting sponge that's growing on there. We'll, we'll check that out. We have one, Chris. Let me back out of here just real quick because I'm bouncing up and down. I don't want to end up knocking into this. So here's a vermilion coming in. Uh, Cole? That's where we broke it off from. Yep. I'm trying to grab one. Got it. All right. Full wide video. Yeah, that, that sort of looks like the same kind of sponge um, on the top. Same color. So, we're going to go back to our yeah. 104 heading. Yeah, I think we're going to do some over. beauty shots of rocks. Right at the edges, you know, mm -hmm. where, where it could be. Uh, fish in front of them. That's okay. Have That's better exposure. Right so here's our vermilion to the left. We could zoom on that guy. Video, let's do a slow zoom. It's looking good. Beautiful really colors. pretty. Yeah. Is there a uh, evolutionary reason why so many of these rockfish are red? Well, I, you know, we say commonly that uh, red is the first color to disappear as you go down through the water column. So it's a sort of camouflage in darkness. We don't usually have this intensity of light down at this depth, so they appear very differently to this camera than they would to, uh, you know, their predators. You want to start transect four? No, let's uh, explore size. around a little more before we start another transect. We, we've got Kay. several, and we're on this very interesting feature, so maybe there's more to see. How about some more close-ups of uh, these rockfish? The copper there on the it's right here. There. Very nice. Oh, don't go away. All I want to do is be friends. Follow me, guys. It's kind of interesting that they all, uh, you know, share this same habitat, these different species. Mm -hmm. uh, video zooms in on Argus. Oh, nice skate. Ooh. Skate. No, these are not. This is going to be um, a sedimentary area. Awesome. That is very cool. Hello. He wanted his glamour shot. Yeah, I'm ready when you are. Do the green lasers bother the organisms at all? I haven't really seen the lasers ever really get a response from an organism, no. green or red. Great. I have those images, Ed. Great. Let me come all the way in and focus. We might want to uh, do a tilt down to get lazy. I thought I heard a yes from uh, data. Oh. Yeah, that'd be great. After you've got that image, if we can get the lasers on it so we can get size, that'd be brilliant. And Work. actually, we have Sean Rooney from uh, Washington State University who's telling us that is a big skate <laughs> <laughs> called uh, Raja Binoculata. Maybe down, then up. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, there you go, right there. Ah, uh -huh. there he goes. That's okay on the rock. That's fine. Just below it, it's good. This, they push off with those claspers on the back. If you see how he's doing that, almost like legs. When they do those little hops, they actually don't use their wings. They're just pushing. Whoa. So what are we looking at here? Anybody know? Yeah, so we um, mapped this area a couple days ago, actually about a week ago. What is ago. this, Bob? What is the future? And, um, yeah, these are sedimentary rocks that are dipping, and uh, they were part of an original fold that got truncated by erosion and weathering. Okay. So these are more resistant sedimentary beds that are like protruding out from the seafloor, and the less resistant beds are eroded away. Awesome. When I saw you, what you had earlier, it's pretty cool. So generally, these rocks are harder or denser than the other layers below it or above it. All right. 
So we're in good shape here with the vehicles. Standing by for leadership, guidance. Take us somewhere. Yep, we're, uh, we set up a transect, so I believe it's two, about 225, but Olivia can tell you exactly. For the transect, it's just visual. Do you want me to look left, right, or just straight forward? Yeah, no, we're not doing the timed ones yet. Um, yeah. I haven't uh, figured that out. Uh, we're just going to take a Explore. Yeah. Well, Bob Ballard says explore. Olive rockfish. You explore. <laughs> <laughs> He's not fooling around, guys. <laughs> He's done it before. That'd we be pretty kind of steep, which I'm you got coming up based on my son on your sonar. Uh huh. Cool. Yeah, yeah, not terribly steep, but <coughs> enough to be wanting to get over it. Look at that fish. Let's look at this big, big boulder rock. for a minute. Can't really look at much else. <laughs> 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 I mean, look around it. <laughs> Wise guy. It looks kind of like a giant mushroom. mushroom or wow, yeah. that's a pretty that wild cool. feature. That thing collapsed. Wow. Yeah, it's tilted over. It's one of so those. So it eroded and then it's it another fell one over. of those concretion formations. It's like one of our propellers. That's cool. These are cool. Uh, yeah. uh, Great life right. growing I didn't on. Know if on. The go for yeah. it was for me. Cup corals. Going in. No, I'm sponges, right there. Bryozoans. And we see these pope. These all these same species you can see at uh, much shallower depths. Uh, uh, that's it, huh? That's all you're going to get. All right. Hey, Brennan, if yeah. you have a leash, take another look at the other side of it. There's a tunicate Zoom wide. right there. Zoom in wide. Real quick look. <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah, let's try to frame the whole thing and take a photo of it. This is cool. And I got to go. go out. We're going to make sure to get our rockfish book out here. Julie Bursick's going to bring it. <laughs> and we're going to have a lot easier time naming all these fish. Excellent. Are you familiar with uh, Milton Love? Yes. Have you the Love Lab, Dr. Yeah, Love. Yeah, the Love Lab. Any of, have you read any of his books? His books are fantastic. Uh, really more than you ever need to know about Pacific rockfish. Yes, and exactly. And then the next one, which is like really, really more than you ever need to know. <laughs> He uh, came to speak to the scuba dive club at UCSB, and he signed one of my books. But before he did, he put on pink lipstick, and he kissed it for me. That's okay. That's very Milton. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Look at those holes. That's way cool. All right, I'm going to bring the iris down a wee bit. And I'm going to zoom out. There you are. Perfect, thank you. No worries. Where would you like it? Coming out wide. Um, if we could put this in a different compartment, not one of the front bio boxes, that'd be great. Yeah, starboard side. So starboard, yeah.